The Kenyan Senate has officially completed casting the vote to elect Kenya's representatives to the East Africa Legislative Assembly. The results in the Senate were as follows. Kalonzo Musioka's son got 45 votes, followed by Suleiman Shabal who got 38 votes, while Winnie Odinga garnered 35 votes. Those three are officially through. The other votes were as follows. Fatuma Gedi got 31, Kanini Kega 29, Diriye Mohammed got 4, Thomas Bosire 17, Justice Kizito 9, Jeremiah Kioni 1, <laughs> Wilfred Mutua 0, Beatrice Askul 1, and Helen Mweni 1. Now that's just in the Senate. How the process works is that once the Senate concludes, they shall relay the results in the form of a message to the National Assembly, and also once the National Assembly is done, uh, they too shall relay the message to the Senate in the form of a message. Then the numbers will be crunched down and the winners will be declared. But as at now, there are some people who have already cruised through. There is no need to even wait for the final results. The likes of Winnie Odinga, who is being groomed to take over after Raila Odinga resigns from politics. The likes of Kennedy Musioka, who shall follow in his father's footsteps not too long after Kalonzo Musioka exits the scenes. The likes of Hassan Omar, the likes of Suleiman Shabal, for them, it's done and dusted. They're already through. And what really caught my attention is how Kennedy Musioka floored everybody to clinch 45 votes. Meaning that even some people in the Kenya Kwanzaa side gave him a vote. Now, I am not too certain about the previous records of the EALA votes. I couldn't get my hands on that data. But one thing is ultimately true. 45 has to be one of the highest votes that a nominee for the EALA has ever received at the Kenyan Senate. And in this video, I want us to look at why Kennedy Kalonzo was able to bag 45 seats despite his father's political formation being in the opposition and being in the minority. But before we get into that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula, hit the subscribe button, and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. For me, I feel that Kalonzo's son was able to pick up the many votes that he got, 45 in totality, in the Senate, because his father plays neutral politics. I have never ever, in my lifetime at least, seen or heard Kalonzo Musioka insulting anyone on national television. And with such people, it's easy to put things behind you and work together. So his father's neutral politics, or uh, what Johnson Sakaja would call Siasa Safi, is finally paying off for Kalonzo's son. Now the second reason behind Kalonzo's son picking up that many votes could be his father's intervention. I honestly don't feel or think that Ray Odinga had to pick up the phone to talk to senators and members of the National Assembly just for Winnie Odinga to cruise through. Remember the saying, rule number one, Baba is always right. Uh, in case of anything, in rule number two, you refer back to rule number one, something like that. So Azimio was obviously going to give Winnie Odinga that vote. So there's no need for any intervention. The name Odinga was enough in and of itself. But for Kennedy Musioka, I suspect there might have been some serious lobbying taking place in the background. And that's why Kennedy was able to garner that many votes. But all in all, those are two new politicians that have officially made a debut into the hallways of politics, just like their fathers once did at a young age. And I know for sure that the two names will stay with us for quite a number of decades, especially when the fathers exit the political scene. But I honestly don't think it will be that easy. They also need to have some form of grit. There are so many people who are waiting to take the opposition from the Udinga family. And those people who are waiting to do so, it's not Miguna Miguna. There are people who are right there, right now, within the opposition, eyeing that particular uh, throne, if you will, because it's the only way to get a real stab at the presidency. And on the side of uh, Kalonzo, of Kennedy Musioka, it's the very same thing. The moment Kalonzo Musioka exits, he's not leaving a void for his son to fill. In fact, I personally feel that these people are being groomed a little too late, a little too late. Ray Lodinga's exit from politics is anywhere in between now and 2027. Winnie Odinga's experience in politics 
starts hasn't even started she hasn't held the bible and uh, she hasn't been sworn in that's when it will start all the way to 2027 and her five year experience is not within kenya it's within the east african uh, legislative assembly that is good experience but it's not enough experience to to like really take over the opposition from her father so for me i feel especially for winnie's uh, appointment this came after relo dinga lost the election because now uh, he's probably thinking i've lost the election uh, i'm an old man now i don't think i'll get to run in 2027 and even if i do this will be my sixth time kenyans will not give me that chance so i might as well now start grooming my daughter but in reality while relo dinga was vying for presidency i feel like winnie odinga ought to have been vying for the langata parliamentary seat that would have been hardcore frontline action for her and it would propel her very high in the political ranks especially since she would have what our president calls prime real estate space at the dais of the national assembly that would be available to her but as at now it's not she gets to have that at iala but you never know i don't like putting people down she can surprise us she can surprise uh, even herself so let's just wait and see now that's it from me for now please uh drop me a comment in the comment section below i'd really love to hear what you have to say and i'll do my best to i'll read your comment and i'll do my best to give you a response now in the event you're here for the first time please go on and hit the subscribe button and if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for david ofula hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about This is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to. All right guys, adios.